everybody, Cameron VR here, and today we will be talking about Gorilla Jack's new flood update. So, let's go. The community already has a bunch of theories on this, but the first thing that they'll probably remove is definitely going to be these cosmetics, spring flashback, or I mean household flashback, and the little golden pot. So if you guys want those, I will be sure to get them, because yesterday they announced this in the Discord, saying that there's seven days, and that was one day ago, so there's only six days now to get these cosmetics. They even say exactly in the message that these will all be going away, so be sure to get them, and now let's move on to the theories. So as we know, with most recent map changes, for example, the one that happened, the canyons, is probably the biggest, but there's a lot of tiny fixes to other maps, and I'm sure there will definitely be ones in mines, and mines definitely seems like the perfect place for a water slash flood update. Let me go tell you why. This is a perfect hole for water to go down. It can go possibly right straight down into here and perfectly down here, and if it does go down there, we can see that this sign is knocked over with a monkey falling off this little ledge with little pieces like falling onto him, he's falling off. It's basically saying there's dangers here and that things could break off at any moment. And let me tell you why that has relation to the flood update, but first off, give me a few seconds. So if water does come down here, since this one, if we can go into here, we can kind of see how it's kind of out of the little view here. And it probably, water, if it did come down here, it'll probably hit that too. But just maybe not as much, because as we can see, it's a little bit tilted back and around, about to fall out. But it has not fallen out yet. And that's probably because it's a little bit out of the view of the water. But this one is straight in the view, so it probably knocked down this. And so as we can see, it's on the ground. And this one's a little bit tilted over, so that probably means that water is probably going to be coming down this way. Also, in the Christmas update, when we in Forest, there was a flooded little water pond thingy, and it had a bunch of ice because it was frozen. Well, this is also ice, and it makes little water droplets straight into that thing. And this ice, as we can see, has been under gazebo this entire time. Because I actually got out of the map in that update, and I saw this has been under gazebo this entire time. So if I were to go to Forest right now and look over this, there would be gazebo right here. Which is kind of cool. And that's just like the relationship that this thing has. And since it's flying right into this little thing, and it only comes off that corner into this little runway where perfectly water can go. If you saw Pursuit's VR water video that he actually got like an insane amount of views on, I hope this one gets a lot of views too, he explains that this looks exactly like a river and that we already have some blue spots here which could be frozen water, regular water, or just more crystals from that crystal or any other crystals on the ground. But if this does happen, this will most likely flood this tiny piece down here and as we can see, if water comes down from that little entrance, like right there, it'll probably fly in here, go down here, and as you can see, this is already like a ramp, so the water can perfectly fly down. And this side is kind of more up, and that side is eroded, so we can see that if it goes down here, it'll kind of stop, like right here, because this side is kind of like stopped like this, so this side will probably not have any water, it'll probably just be this river, and maybe a little river flowing down from up there into here, and... Yep, that's basically the theories. As you can see, there's little water droplets too. So that just proves that there's, the water is melting. And since they also said in six days the update, the new update will come, which is going to be very exciting because it might just be a flood update. Maybe won't, maybe will. We don't know, but with the recent map changes, I think it'll probably be a flood update. Now for the last piece of evidence. But before we go into the last piece, let me show you the sounds of the water droplets. I hope y'all guys could hear that, but I'm going to increase the volume a lot on the editing software that I use to make sure that you can hopefully hear those water droplets. And now for the last piece of evidence. If we were to get the popsicle stick and the sponge out and 
as you can see, it kind of drops water from the popsicle stick, except for it's a tiny bit darker than the water in there. But it's definitely still water or just a liquidy substance. And if we hold this down, we can see that a bunch of water will just come dripping straight out of it. So as we can see, it kind of just really fast drips out. Which means that this was used to soak up water at one time. And now, here's a bonus piece of evidence. And you go into here, you probably already know this, but you can turn on the light. But, this also means that you can probably use the light in mines. And that means we'll probably use this to explore down there. We'll probably have swimming mechanics that we can use to swim in there. And there's probably going to be some more, maybe, animals and fish in there that we can get for the new sale. Probably a a uh, plastic fish toy that if you put it in the water it will like fly across the water like one of those bat toys but basically this might be used for underwater exploration which we can also use the pickaxe for because there might be some crystals and stuff that we can mine down there and i bet the entire community really hopes this happens and if it does well that's gonna be pretty cool anyways like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video